short ratio and short and multiple to volume as well. We'll wait for other students to join and then we'll start the session. We have already uh, discussed in the previous session that we'll be starting a new chapter in today's class with this issue of the winter. Before that, we already covered the issue of share capital. Oh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, we, we have already understood the issue of shares. And uh, in the last session, in fact, we were talking about the pro rata allotment of share. We did few questions based on the pro rata allotment. So I'm sure all of you have very or apology or clear about the concept of the pro rata. <clears throat> Now, in today's session, the point of discussion will be issue of the ventures. If you have understood the concept of the issue of share, it will be much easier for you to understand the concept of the ventures as well. Because this chapter is pretty much similar to the previous chapter, issue of shares. We'll wait for one or two more minutes so that other student could also join and then we'll start the session. <laughs> everyone so let's uh, i don't know why no one else is joining today i guess they are late so let's start the session as i told you we'll be talking about a new chapter so this is the issue of the winter i want all of you to put this heading on your notebook i've been and worry and you put the heading on your notebook issue of the venture so first of all the thing that we need to understand is the meaning of the Debenture. So we'll start with the meaning of debenture. And then we'll talk about the various accounting treatment which is required to be done when the debentures are issued. First of all, let's start with the meaning of debenture. The first question that arises in the mind is, what is or what are actually debentures? So, see, debentures are what? See, let's talk, let's take an example. Let's assume there is a company, 
xyz limited okay. so this company requires this company this company requires fund <clears throat> this company requires certain amount of money it requires fund and if, it, if this company requires let's suppose total fund of 50 lakhs this company requires total fund of rupees 50 lakh then what are the various alternatives available with the company to raise this fund first option is to first option is to approach bank this company may apply for the loan with the bank approach bank for loan this is the first thing that uh, first alternative that company may apply in order to raise this much amount Right. But if the company goes to the bank for, for this much amount, the company will have to put something as a security, which is called collateral. Company have to put company have to give bank some collateral security. Unless and until company has sufficient amount of collateral security, company won't be able to raise this amount, right? If company want to raise 50 lakh, then in that case, company may approach bank and if, if company approaches bank, bank will be asking for the collateral security. Only then bank will give a credit of 50 lakh. The second option that a company may also apply is issue of shares. Company may issue shares to the public. And we already learned about the issue of shares, right? In the previous chapter, we were discussing about the issue of shares. So company may also issue shares in order to raise the sum of. But there are certain limitations to the issue of shares as well. Like in case of the issue of shares, the ownership of the members of the company get diluted ownership. Or you can say the management managerial rights of the shareholder or the members of the company get diluted. Voting rights voting rights of the existing members will also get diluted. This is, these are the few limitations of the issue of shares. Ownership will be shared, voting rights will be shared, manage, uh, uh, the existing members won't have any control upon the management of, uh, of the company. And these are, there are other limitations as well in respect of issue of shares. The third option that company may also opt is issue of debenture. Company may raise this amount by issuing debentures. Sir, so what are debentures? Debentures are what? Debentures are kind of, you can call it a certificate. It is a certificate. Or you can also call it document. All right. Which can be given to the public against which public will give money, against which public will give money to the company. So the certificate that company shows to public in order to raise this amount from the public, this is called, this is called debenture. Debentures are what? Debentures are, basically debenture is issued in order to raise long-term fund from the public. If company want to raise fund for long-term period, just like equity share, if company want to raise fund for long-term period, then company may issue debenture. Debentures are, debenture basically act as a loan. This is a loan certificate. Company is issues a document containing the detail of the amount that a, pub, that, that a particular person is giving to the company, containing the terms and condition of the loan, containing the tenure for which the period for which the, the amount is being taken by the company. 
So divergence are here. Divergences are document or a statement that contains the rules and uh, sorry, that contains the terms and condition of the loan taken by the company. The, uh, the amount that public is giving to the company against the against the certificate or document or you can call it debenture. This is a this is a loan money. Instead of going to the bank, company is asking public to pay to give the company loan of rupees fifty lakh. So how it is different from asking money from the bank? It is different in the sense that in case company wants to raise money from the bank, in that situation company will have to put something as a collateral security. But if company is issuing debentures to the public and if if company raises amount by issuing debenture certificate, in that case company is not required to put anything as a collateral security to the public. Company can simply issue certificate that contains the detail. Of the amount which company is taking from the public, it contains the terms and condition. It contains the percentage. What percentage company will be paying against the debenture as an interest? It contains the time period for which company is borrowing the amount from the public. All all the details regarding the amount being borrowed and rate of interest paid by the company will be there on the debenture certificate. So we can define the debenture as a document or statement that contains the terms and condition upon which company is borrowing certain amount of money from the public. Debentures have a, a specified period of time for which money is being taken by the company. Generally, debentures are issued by the company when company want to borrow the fund for a longer period of time. Say, for example, ten years, twelve years, fifteen or twenty years. So in that situation. Amount is borrowed from the public for the period of fifteen twenty years. So how it is different from shares? See, when company issues debenture number one, in case of issue of share, company is not required to repay the amount. If company issues shares and whatever the amount collected by the company by issuing shares, that those those amount need not to be refunded or repaid by the company during the uh, uh, life of the uh, company. Whereas in case of the debenture, debenture have debenture always have a specified time period for which amount can be taken by the company. That means there will be some maturity date after which company have to repay the amount. Unlike issue of shares, in case of issue of shares, there is no maturity time period. Number one, number two, issue of debenture is different from issue of shares in a sense that in case of issue of debenture, ownership of the company is not diluted. It is not. There is no change in the ownership. Voting rights, debenture holders. I mean, the public who buys debenture does not get any voting right. That means, if company wants to take any any decision, there will be no interference by the debenture holders in those decisions. But if company issues shares, the person buying the shares, known as shareholder, shareholder always. Has the capacity to interfere in the management, and he may take participation in the uh, uh, voting of the company whenever it comes to the decision making. All right, I hope I hope this is clear to everybody. Please confirm if it is clear or not. Mariam, Abin, Halima. <coughs> Halima is joining us late. I guess uh, I'm not sure whether we heard the entire thing or not. Mariam, see clear, sir. Abin, I wanted to know from you whether it is clear or not for you. Sorry, you want me to explain it again? Yes, sir. Can you explain it again? Halima, what about you? Do you want yes, me to explain sir. it again? Yes, sir. I got some points, but it's not full. Okay. All right. Let me explain it again. See what I was telling that just like. The issue of shares. Why company issue shares? All of you understand that company issue shares for the purpose of raising capital from the public, right? In the same way, in the same way, debentures are issued. 
the purpose of issuing the debenture is same just like the issue of share shares are issued for the purpose of financing the capital requirement of the company similarly debentures are also issued with the purpose of financing the capital requirement of the company all right but the difference in case of debenture is that debenture are basically loan debenture are borrowing which company is taking from the public whereas issue of share shares are not borrowing shares issue of share is considered as the part of company which is being sold to which are also being sold to public when you issue shares the person buying the share known as shareholder get the ownership in the company get the voting right in the company and he basically becomes the part of the management of the company whereas in case of the issue of debenture company is borrowing amount from the public but in this case ownership is not diluted the person buying the debentures does not get the voting right in the company that means debenture holder have no right to interfere in the decisions and management of the company debenture holders are just like the lender just like bank the venture holder act as a lender to the company and since public have purchased venture public have given some amount to the company public are lenders to the company therefore public or the person who is buying the venture is entitled to get the interest against the investment whatever the investment he have made into the company he will be entitled for the interest against that amount all right i hope this is clear now yes is it clear yes. abin is that clear now okay let me show you the definition exact definition of the debenture just a moment <clears throat> Okay. See, this is the meaning of the debenture. Debentures are what? Debentures are written statement or document issued by the company acknowledging the long term debt or loan taken by the company from the public. Debentures are what? Debentures are statement or you can also call it a certificate. What document which company issues to the person or public from whom company is borrowing some amount? So it is always issued as an acknowledgement of loan which is taken by the company from the public. I hope this is clear now. This is the definition of the debenture. And as I told you, whenever the debentures are issued, since debenture has debenture is a document, right? or you can also call it a certificate or a statement so since it is a document it contains what it contains the terms and condition all the terms and condition regarding the repayment of principal amount as well as the fixed rate of interest at a specified date so how much percentage will be given to the person buying the debenture when the principal amount will be repaid all these detail will be there in the debenture all these details will be there in that document or statement all right i hope this is clear everybody yes okay oh uh, all right so now so what about the, just like shares can we transfer these debentures to some other person as well like in case of the shares 
share are shares are basically transferable from one person to the other, right? Similarly, dividend shares are also freely transferable by the debenture holder. Any person buying the debenture, like for example, if I bought the debenture of a particular company, I suppose if I have bought the debentures of uh, XYZ Limited, uh, investing 10,000, then I can sell these debentures to some other person. Like for example, if I wanted to sell it to or transfer it to the transfer it to Halima, Mariam, or I mean, I can easily transfer these debentures to some other person as well. So that means debenture holder may transfer these debentures to some other person also. All right. And debenture holder have no right to vote in the company. The interest paid to them is a charge against profit. So whatever the, like, for example, let me show you. Like, if company have, let's suppose XYZ Limited issued debentures, Eight name of this debenture is 8% debenture. 8% indicate the rate of interest payable. Whoever purchases this debenture, he will be entitled to, entitled for a 8% interest. So, like for example, if I have, let's suppose a company have issued 1,000 debentures of 8% having a face value of 100 each. Out of it, for example, if I have bought 200 debentures, if I have bought 200 debentures of 8%, that means on yearly basis, I am entitled to claim 8% interest, 8% on the value of investment I have made. If I have bought 200 debentures, that means total investment I must have made in the company is 20,000, 200 into 100 means 20,000 is the amount of investment that I made in the company. And based on the investment, I am, I'll be entitled for how much interest? I'll be interested for 8% interest on annual basis. So 20 into 8% will be how much? Tell me. 1,600 interest will be payable to me every year. Do you understand that? It is debenture are generally freely transferable. Debenture holder have no right to vote, and all the debenture holder will be entitled to some amount of interest. And that interest which is payable to the debenture holder is considered as the charge against profit. This is considered as charge against profit. So what is what is the effect of effect of treating this interest as a charge against profit? So, if the interest is charged against profit, that means interest needs to be paid by the company irrespective of the situation. Whether the company is generating sufficient amount of profit or not, company have to have to give this much of interest to the venture holder. So, the venture holder's interest is considered as the charge against profit. All right, everyone, is this clear, everybody? Please confirm if it is clear or not. Yes. Okay. So just do one thing. Just do one thing. Uh, please note all these things in your notebook quickly, and then we'll start with the accounting field. We'll talk about how do we treat the issue of shares in accounts. I want all of you to note this down. Once you are done, let me know so that I can see the slide and okay. you can note that as well. Quick, quickly, let me move another word.
Done, everyone. Yes, sir. Done. <clears throat> We know this as well quickly. Then everyone. Oh, wait, sir. One yes. more. Wait, Hello, sir. Alexander. Why are you late today? Hello, sir. Good evening, uh, sir. I have to go out for this Christmas, you know. Okay. Oh. Wishing you a very happy Christmas. Thank you, sir. Same to you. All right, so, guys, we were, so since you were joining late, let me recall everything. So, uh, in today's session, Alexander, we have decided to start a new chapter since we already completed the previous chapter issue of Share Capital in the previous session. In today's session, we started the chapter debentures. Until now, we just discussed the meaning of the debenture, wherein I told all these students that uh, debentures are what? Debentures are basically 
a document or a statement or you can also call it a certificate which a company issues to public when company want to raise funds from the public as a loan like in the previous chapter uh, when we were discussing the issue of share capital uh, <clears throat> we learned that company if company have capital requirement if company have financial need then company may issue shares to the public in the same manner company if company want to raise fund then company have the other option available which is called the issue of debenture so how debenture is different from share it is different in a sense that in case of the uh, share um, uh, the, the person purchasing the shares in the company is known as shareholder such person get the voting right in the company he have control he gets the control in the management of the company and he also get the ownership of the company right so basically if company decide to issue shares and raise fund by issuing shares in that case company have to dilute its ownership company have to uh, basically uh, company have to be ready to accept the interference by the shareholder in the management all right but on the other hand if company want to avoid any interference by the person giving the money to the company and com and if company also don't want uh, to basically reduce the audit or dilute the ownership of the company and company do not want any kind of interference in the management of the company in that case company may issue debentures all right so debentures are debentures what debentures just an alternative it is just a method to raise fund by the company debenture is basically a borrowing this company is uh, uh, basically raising from the public All right, and debenture is debenture is debenture is issued by by way of a document. It is a statement or document or a certificate. This certificate contains all the details regarding the amount that a particular person have invested in the company by way of uh, uh, lending. And on that document or certificate, company also mentions the uh, the date. after which the, the amount of borrowing will be repaid to that person and it also contains the terms and condition regarding the interest payment of interest in respect of the amount that that company have borrowed from that person all right so let me quickly show you the definition of the debenture and if you want you can take the screenshot and later note this in your notebook this is the definition of the debenture Wherein I have written that debenture is a statement or document issued by the company acknowledging the long term debt take or loan taken by the company from the public. It contains the terms and condition regarding the repayment of the principal amount as well as the fixed rate of interest at a specified date. All right, I hope this is clear, Alexander. Yes, sir. Then uh, this is the part of the definition as well, wherein it is written that debentures are generally freely transferred. Freely, freely transferable, just like the shares, and the venture holder does not get any get any voting right, but the but the venture holder will be entitled for the interest on yearly basis, and that interest will be uh, uh, considered as the charge against profit for the company. That means, irrespective of the uh, situation whether the company has generated sufficient amount of profit or not, company will be obliged to pay. uh that much amount of interest which is payable on debenture so interest is something which can not be avoided by the company it is always considered as the charge against profit that means it needs to be paid in all the situation irrespective of whether company have generated sufficient amount of profit or not so take the screenshot of this slide as well now we'll move to the accounting treatment of the debenture Coming to the issue of debenture, see, just like the issue of shares, debentures can also be uh, uh, debentures can be issued in three different situation. Uh, debenture can be issued for cash. Debenture can also be issued other than cash, and it can be issued as a collateral security. We'll talk about all these different scenarios, different cases, two or different different examples. But firstly, we'll try to cover the issue of Or debenture for cash only. All right. So firstly, 
when when the uh, dividends are being issued on cash basis so there may be a situation that it may be issued at par and it can also be issued at the premium so the general entity that we need to do if dividends are being issued for cash in lump sum at par value and if it is fully subscribed in that situation general entry will be firstly for the receipt of application amount of debenture general entry will be bank account debit to debenture application allotment account on transfer of debenture application to debenture account the entry will be debenture application allotment to percentage of debenture account let me give you an example to make it more clear <coughs> So as I told you, whenever the ventures are issued, issue of the venture, it can be against the cash or for other than cash, or it can be also as a collateral security. But right now we'll also we'll only talk about the issue of the venture on cash basis. On cash basis, basis and to on lump sum. Consider that there is no instalment on cash basis, and on lump sum, and it has been issued at par. At par. For example, let's suppose company have issued. Two thousand debentures. Two thousand eight percent debenture, or let's suppose ten percent debenture. Name of the debenture is ten percent debenture. This indicates that ten percent interest is payable on this debenture. Two percent, ten percent debenture. Two thousand ten percent debenture issued at. At hundred rupees. Per share, per debenture. All right. So the general entry will be firstly we'll pass the general entry for the receipt of application money. Since all the amount need to be paid in one go, issued on lump sum basis. If the debenture is being issued on lump sum basis, then the general entry will be what? The general entry will be just like the just like we used to pass the general entry in case of the issue of shares. If you are able to recall, what is the general entry in case of the issue of shares? It is bank account debit to share application, right? Now, similarly, in this case, entry will be bank account debit to debenture application account. Debenture application account. Got it? And If two thousand debentures were issued, so two thousand into par value, it has been issued at par. So it will be need to multiply this by hundred. So total bank account will be debited by two lakh, and debenture application will also be credited by. Correct, right, everyone? Is this clear? Yes or no? <clears throat> yes, sir, clear. Okay, then. After that, as usual, we need to we need to do the accounting and uh, general entry for the transfer of application money to the venture account. Like we used to do in the in case of the issue of share capital as well, application amount need to be transferred to share capital. This time, application amount need to be transferred to venture account. So the general entry for that will be venture application. The venture application account two lakh two the venture account name of the venture was ten percent venture so ten percent venture two lakh please tell me if this is clear or not this is how we pass the entry for the issue of the venture. If there is no installment, or you can also do one thing. Just a minute. Up instead of writing debenture application, 
you can also write debential application and allotment account. Debenture application and allotment account. Is it clear now, everybody? Yes, sir. It's clear. Yes, sir. It's clear. This is how we do. Achha, this, this is uh, when the debenture has been included. Debenture can also be issued on premium. Right? For example, 2,000, 10% debentures are being issued, having a face value of 100 rupees, issued at premium. Face value is 100. Issued at 10% premium. In that case, what will be the general entry? The general entry will be for the receiving application amount will be firstly because 10% premium is there. So service value is 100, 10% premium means 10 rupees is premium. So the entry will be bank account debit, 10 percent is premium, so 2000 into 110, right? It will be 2 lakh 20,000. Right, and to venture application allotment two lakh twenty thousand. To the venture account, the venture account will be credited by only two thousand two hundred, which is two lakh, and the balance amount will be transferred to security premium reserve to security premium reserve account. This is when the debentures are being issued at premium. Tell me everybody, is this clear or not? You are finding anything different in this, in, in case of debenture? It is, I guess, it is pretty much similar to the issue of share as well, no? Yes, yes sir. Sir. Yeah. So, I hope this is clear to everybody. Now, you can note this down. If the issue of if if uh, debentures has been issued for cash on lump sum basis and it is it has been fully subscribed, then in that situation this is the entry on receipt of application amount bank account debit to debenture application allotment on transfer of amount to debenture account it will be debenture application and allotment account to percentage debenture account whatever the percentage of debenture will be will write that here. Please note this down quickly so that we can move to the next slide.
done, everyone. Do it quickly. Done, everyone. Yes, sir. Done. So, will the shares are issued for cash and has been fully subscribed. In that situation, the entry will be bank account debit to debenture application allotment and debenture application allotment to debenture account. So, what about if the shares are oversubscribed? If issue of debentures has been on lump sum basis, but it has been oversubscribed, then in that situation, general entry will be almost same. Only thing is that the access application that we have received, we will have to refund the amount in respect of those applications. So there will be an additional entry for that, which will be like this. This is uh, like you can see, this is the same entry. Only difference is at the time of the transfer of amount to venture account, we'll add to bank account in the credit section of the entry as well. The venture application and allotment account debit to the venture account to bank account. This, this bank account you are seeing here, this is just to indicate the refund of access application that we have received. I hope this is clear, everybody. Do I need to give you an example to make it more clear? Yeah. See. Same like suppose, that previous share capital debentures. Yeah, it is completely similar to the issue of share capital. Uh, when 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 uh, access application need to be rejected, we pass the entry. Right. Similarly, in case of the access application received for the debenture, we pass the entry just like the previous one. The only difference this time will be. We'll have to write down the amount. Uh, sorry, we'll have to indicate the bank as well in the credit section. Let me give you an example to make it more clear. See, just a minute. So let's suppose, uh, for example, example. If assume that let's uh, assume that company have issued 2,000 equity shares, 2,000 debentures at the rate of 100 each, but Application received in respect of 2400 debentures. All right. So the general entry for that will be what? It will be, it will be 2400 debentures in 200. That means 2 lakh 40,000. Right. Debenture application. An allotment account will be debited by 240,000. But the venture 10% debenture account can only be credited by 2002, 2200. That means 2 lakh. And the access amount that we have received on application need to be defunded to bank account. In respect of 400 debentures, we have we must have received 40,000, so we'll have to return that amount, refund that amount. This is the this will be the entry. So everything, as you can see, everything is same now. Only thing is that this time we have an additional entry for the bank, indicating that we have received this much extra amount that we'll have to refund. Got it? Is this clear, everybody? Now, Alexander, Halima, Maria, Abel. Yes, sir. Anima, is that clear to you? Akhil, is that clear to you? Yes. Mariam, Madhim. Anyways, please note this down, all of you. Quickly note this down.
done, everyone. Done, everybody. Yes, sir. Done. Uh, sir, yes, sir. It is just like the previous entry, no? only thing you need to do is just add the bank account in the credit card of the second entry. That is it. Everything is same. Moving on to the next entry, next case. Third case could be if the devices are being issued for cash or lump sum, but at premium. So if the shares are being issued at premium, general entry will be same. Right. For the receipt of application amount, it will be bank account debit to debenture and debenture application not from the account, right? But if in uh, sorry, in case of the transfer of application amount to debenture capital, general entry will be debenture application account debit to percent case debenture capital account, security premium reserve account, as we used to do in case of the issue of shares. In this case as well, if the debentures are being issued at premium, same entry will be done. I hope this is clear, everybody. Please confirm if it is clear or not. Yes, sir. For example, 2000 debentures were issued at, a, at uh, having a face value of 100 D, but issued at 100 and 10. It has been issued at 100 and Okay. So if it is clear, please note this down. Now we'll start doing questions based on these concepts that we have covered and there are a few other concepts that we'll discuss later. There is one more situation. So this we have to issue. note down. Yeah, yeah, you have to note this up. Debenture can be issued at par, it can be issued at premium. But in case of debenture, we have a third situation as well, wherein debenture can also be issued at a discounted price. Debenture can al also be issued at a discount. So what do you mean by discount? Discount means, let's suppose if the face value of the debenture is 100 rupees per debenture, it company may decide to issue the debenture at the discounted price. That means at rupees, let's suppose company have issued the debenture at 90 per debenture. So if the debenture are being issued at a discounted price, that is a kind of loss for the company. Right? If the debentures are being issued at a discounted price, that means it is a kind of loss for the company. And such loss needs to be debited to discount on issue of debenture account. All right, so quickly note this down, then we'll talk about the fourth situation. And then we'll start doing questions. Just do it quickly. And everyone, I'm moving to the next case. Uh, so wait, sir. I'm going to suggest the same. Huh? Everything is same. Just the one additional part is there. Security premium reserve account is added.
done everyone alima is that clear and have you noted this down moving on to situation number 4 like see in case of situation 4 company may decide to issue debenture for cash but at a discounted price so if the shares are issued at discounted value discounted price the first entry will be same receipt of application on receipt of application entry will be bank account debit to debenture application allotment account and on transfer of amount to debenture uh, so your voice is very low The voice is very low. Yes, sir. Okay, is it is it better now? Yes, sir. Now it's better. Yes. Actually, a uh, lot of noise is coming from the background, so therefore I have intentionally intentionally reduced the uh, mic sensitivity. Therefore, you you might have getting the low back low audio. Anyways, I have increased the sensitivity. Okay, so uh, what I was saying is that uh, let's suppose if company have issued the shares on discount in that situation, how we will treat it? So let me explain this through this example. Example. For example, company have issued two thousand debentures, ten percent debentures, ten percent debentures. Of hundred each at ten percent discount. So how are we going to deal with this situation? What entry? How how are we going to pass the entry? So entry for this will be same. Firstly, bank account debit to debenture application and allotment account. So we have issued how many how many debentures? Two thousand debentures at a discounted price of ten percent. So debenture the face value of debenture was hundred rupees. Huh? It is being issued at ten percent discount, and it must be it must be issued at ninety per debenture. So bank account is going to get debited by one lakh eighty thousand. Right, one lakh eighty thousand. Is that clear? Now. <clears throat> Now we need to transfer the application amount to debenture account, and that will be since we have only received one lakh eighty thousand, so we will be debiting one lakh eighty thousand to debenture application allotment account, and to ten percent debenture account, debenture account need to be credited by. A, By the face value, so two thousand into we need to multiply this by hundred. So debenture account need to be credited by two lakhs. All right. Now you are able to see the difference. Debenture application and allotment account has been debited by one eighty, and debenture account is getting credited by two lakhs. So the difference that you are seeing here is considered as the loss on issue of debenture. All right. Uh, it is it is because of the discount given to the debenture. So we'll write this as discount on issue of debenture account debit. Discount on issue of debenture account. Discount will be debited. Debited. Discount on issue of debenture account will be debited by twenty. I hope this is clear, everybody. Everyone is this clear? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So please note this down. This is the last entry, last case. We have more cases that we will talk about later. Now we can start with the questions. So once you are done with this, let me know so that we can start with question number one.
Thanks. Can everyone else? Yes. Okay then, so let's continue with the question. So we'll start with this question. Question number one, Venus Limited issued 40,000. 10% debentures of rupees 100 each at par for cash table in full along with application. Application over receipt for 60,000 debentures, debentures were allotted and access application money was refunded. Last journal entries in the book of the company. All right, so the question, question basically says that Venus company, Venus Limited have issued 40,000 debentures, 10% debentures, having a par value of 100 rupees, it has been issued at par only. But Venus Limited have actually got the application for 60,000 debentures and company have decided to reject access application. All right, so considering all these information, we need to pass the entry. All right, so I hope the question is clear, everybody. You can take the screenshot of the question so that whenever, whenever you want to refer back to the question and revise the concept or revise the question, you can attempt the questions. If you have this, so kindly take the screenshot, then we'll start with the solution. Okay. The total entry is required in the question. We'll write down the total entry in the book of. Please note this down quickly, all of you. General entry. In the books of Venus Limit. Okay. First entry will be for the receipt of application. So we'll write down bank account debit. To debenture application and allotment account. Right? Bank account will be debited by what amount? We have issued 40,000, 10 percent debentures, 40,000 into 100. So, bank account will be debited by. Forty lakhs. Got everyone. We have issued forty thousand debentures, but we have received how much application? The receipts application for sixty thousand debentures. So we need to multiply sixty thousand with multiply. the amount of debenture hundred. Hundred. So it will be. Tell me sixty lakhs. Sixty lakhs. Okay. After that, <clears throat> we'll pass the entry for the transfer of application and allotment amount to the venture account. That will be. The venture application and allotment account debit sixty lakhs to what was the rate of percentage for debenture? It was ten percent debenture. Na? So ten percent debenture. Account. The venture account can only be credited with the amount of the venture actually issued at par value. So, 40 into 100, that means the venture account will be credited by 40 lakh. Is that clear? And the access amount will be refunded. For that, I'll write down to bank account. Access amount of 20 lakh will be 
return to the investors. Tell me if this is clear, everybody. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So this was this was the question number one. Moving on to next question, question number two. Sorry, sir. Can you show this question number one? Do you want me to show the question? Or the solution? Yeah, the solution. Yes, sir. I know. Just checked. I just, just. All right. So this is question number two. Alexander, do you want to take? Do you want to do it on your own? All of you. All of you want to try this on your own. Let me read this question for you. Yes, Limited have issued 2009 percent debenture this time, which is payable, uh, uh, having a face value of 100 rupees, which is payable as follows: 25 rupees on application, 25 on allotment, 50 on first and final call. Application was received for all debentures along with the application. Money did did allotment was made. All money was also received on the due date. As the necessary journal entries in the book of the company. All of you want to try this question? Yes, sir. We can try. Yes. Let's give it a try. I'm waiting for you to finish. Just let me know once you are done.
आंसर Then everyone else, Alima, Ariam, yes, Aben, 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 confirm. Yes, sir. Done. Done. Okay. So the journal entries for this question will be first entry. Let me show you the solution, and this let me know if anybody have any. Problem understanding the journal entry, or uh, if their answer is different. The first thing, the first application, first entry will be for the application, which will be plan account debit to event application, which is fifty thousand fifty thousand. Everybody got the same value? Yes, same. Yes. Sir. Okay, then we'll we'll transfer the application amount to share. Uh, sorry, we'll transfer the application amount to the venture account, nine percent venture account. So entry for that will be the venture application account debit to nine percent venture account. Then we'll pass the entry for the allotment for making the allotment due. The entry will be the debit venture allotment account debit to nine percent venture, which is fifty thousand again. And then we'll pass the entry for the receipt of allotment, uh, the venture allotment. Actually, bank account debit to nine percent debit to allotment account. Then entry will be for the for making the first and final call due. The venture first and final call account debit to nine percent the venture account. And finally, for the receipt of first and final call amount, will be bank account debit to nine percent the venture first and final call. All right, everyone. This is the entry that everybody has got. Evan, Mariam. Alexander, Alima, any differences? Anybody have different entries? All of you did it in the same way same. or not? Yes, the same. Abin, you got the same. Yes. Okay, then. so that means we can move to the next question. Okay, question number three. Nepa Limited is short. N lakh debentures of rupees hundred each. Rupees ten lakh debentures. Keep that in mind. Rupees ten lakh debentures at hundred each at a premium of ten percent, payable twenty five percent on application, and the balance on allotment. The debentures were applied for, and the amount was duly received. You are required to you are required to give the total entry, and you need to prepare the cash book also. So, as we already discussed while doing the issue of shares, that whenever question asks you to prepare the cash book, in that situation you don't have to pass in any entry showing the receipt of uh, uh, receipt of the amount. You don't have the to, to pass the to pass any entry that contains the bank account. You don't have to pass bank entries. Everybody remember that, na? Yes. We need to prepare the cash book. We don't have to prepare. We just don't have to pass any entry relating to bank. Okay. So let me so let me solve this question for you. However, this is this is an easy question. In fact, all of you will be able to do it on your own as well. But let me do this solution. Two thousand. Four three it says it says. Company have issued debentures Company have issued how much how many debentures Company have issued debentures the percentage of debenture is not given this time so if it is not there we we do not write that but the value of the debenture is 10 lakh debentures in terms of value it, it is 10 lakh and Face value of each debenture is at the rate of hundred rupees per per debenture. That means number of how how many debentures were issued? Number of debentures issued 
equals to 10 lakh divided by one, uh, 100, it will be, tell me, 10,000 debentures. Is that right? Everybody? 10,000 debentures has been issued and we um, uh, come, uh, it has been issued at a premium of 10% at two prices. Issue price is 100 plus 10 percent premium, that means 10 rupees. Issue price is 110. But it is that clear, everybody? And company is willing to raise the entire amount on application and allotment only. Company will be raising 25 percent of the face value on application and remaining on allotment. Remaining amount, that means 75% of the amount need to be given on allotment. Total should be equal to 110. 100 rupees for the face value of the debenture and 10 rupees for the premium. Alright, everyone, this is what question says. It says 25% on application, including premium and the balance on allotment. The first thing that we need to do is to determine how much amount company will be receiving on application. So, see, company will be receiving 25% of the face value on application. That means 100 into 25% will be how much? 100 into 25 will be. 25 rupees. Is that right? Yes. Is that clear? And this will contain the amount of premium as well. So 25 include the amount of premium means face value towards face value we will be receiving 15 rupees and remaining 10 rupees will be in, in, the, in respect of the premium. This way, we will be receiving the amount of application. Got it, everyone? And the remaining amount, remaining will be how much? 25, 110 minus 25 will be 85, I guess. 85 rupees on lot. Is that clear, everybody? Please note this down quickly. Then we'll move to the journal uh, uh, entry. If anyone having any doubt, understanding anything, please tell me. I've been Mariam Alexander Halima. Mariam is saying no, sir. Alexander, any doubt? Halima, any doubt? No doubt. I've been, do you have any doubt? No doubt. Okay. Then please move this on quickly and let's move to the third link. <clears throat> Yeah. Now we can pass the journal entries. As usual, first entry will be for the application, which will be bank account debit to debenture application account. Right? Bank account will be debited by 10,000 shares, 10,000 debentures has been issued. And on application, we will be receiving 25 per application. So, 2,50,000 will be received on application, including the amount of premium as well. Now, for the transfer of application money to the Venture account, journal entry will be the venture application account. 
account debit two. So then your application account debit two. Percentage of debenture is not given this time. Usually percentage of debenture will be there in the question. Anyways, I'm just writing percentage of debenture account debit two security premium reserve account. Right, everyone, and amount will be twenty five lakh will be debited to the venture application. Full effort, full effort, fifty thousand will be debited to the venture application account, and ten thousand into. Tell me, by what amount the venture account will be credited? By what amount the venture amount the venture account will be credited? Ten thousand into what? Tell me. At this, what value I need to multiply ten thousand in order to credit the amount to the debenture account? So fifteen. Yes, fifteen. Because towards the face value of the debenture, we only received fifty rupees. Remaining amount has been received towards the premium. So that will give you one lakh fifty thousand. And remaining amount, which is ten thousand. Into ten rupees of premium. Multiplying this, we will get one lakh. This is the entry for the application. Done, everyone? Yes. This is for a lot on on application. We need to do one more entry for the allotment on allotment. The other entry will be firstly we will write down the venture allotment account debit. Two the venture account. Right, everyone. So the venture allotment account will be debited by ten thousand into eighty five. That is eight lakh fifty thousand and eight lakh. Now we will pass the entry for the receipt of allotment money, which will be bank account debit to the venture allotment account. Eight lakh fifty thousand and eight lakh fifty thousand. I hope this is clear, everybody. Both these entries are clear to you. Yes, sir, clear. Okay, but the thing is that this question requires us to uh, prepare the cash book also, right? You can see you are required to pass the journal entry and prepare the cash. So since it requires Has to prepare the cash book. That means we are not required to pass the entry for the receipt of application and the allotment. So these entries are not required. However, since we are practicing, we just pass these entries. But you have to keep that in mind that because we need to prepare the cash book, we don't have to pass these entries. Neither we will be passing this entry. Only two entries will be done. This one. This and this need to be done only for the application and a lot. We don't have to show the entry for the bank. I hope this is clear, everybody. Now we can prepare the cash. Book. So in the cash book, on the first of all, on the uh, uh, I mean the debit side of the cash book, we'll 
write down the amount that we have received in respect of the venture application. So we can write that as to debenture application. On debenture application, we had received 250,000. That we can show here, 250,000. And two, debenture allotment, we have received what amount? 850,000. 8,50,000. The thing is, this is it. Now we will, speak, we will simply write down closing balance of the cash book on the credit side of the cash book by balance CD. It is 11 lakh. 10 lakh for the debenture and 1 lakh for the premium. Right? Everybody, now you can tell me both the sides. Please tell me if this is clear or not, everyone. Abin Mariam, Halima, Alexander. Is everything clear to this point? Any doubts? It's clear, sir. Okay, yeah. so it is clear. So let's move. Let let. Uh, okay, so we are out of time. Okay, so let's do one thing. I'm giving you a few questions for the homework. Kindly take the screenshot of those questions. Take the screenshot of question number four, question number five and six. We'll discuss some other concept in the next class. Make sure you don't skip any class of the chat. Since this is an easy chapter, you'll be able to understand it if you have understanding about the issue of share capital as well. So it will be easier for you to understand, cover this. And we'll try to finish this chapter as soon as possible. Okay, and then we'll quickly start the financial statements. Anyways, so this is question number four. I am sure all of you must have taken the screenshot. Question number five, take the screenshot quickly. <clears throat> Done, everyone? Yes. Done. Question number six, take the screenshot. Done. Done, Alexander, Mariam, Abin. Yes. Okay, so this is a key question for the homework. In the next session, we'll talk about the issue of venture with the term of redemption. Okay, so we'll talk about all these things in the next session, but this is it.